That's a cockroach. Oh, oh, no, no, no. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. I'm excited to have you with me today as we continue working on the BMW 335iS for Erica. In today's episode, Doug is on his way, and we're going to finish getting this car ready to go to the frame shop. Jack will be ready for it really, really soon, and uh, so we need to finish prepping it for him. Now, in the last episode, you saw that we were able to uh, get the roof partially popped open and get those rollover bars down. And then uh, I also got that front suspension replaced, so we're able to roll it off the trailer and get it here in the garage. So I'm actually going to pull it back out of the garage so we have a little more space to work. And we're going to work on getting the bumper, headlights, fender, and uh, both side skirts off the car so it's ready to go to frame. Uh, the side skirt on the passenger side is actually damaged. There will be some work that need to be done to the metal underneath there, and then of course replace that one. But both of them have to come off so it can be clamped down uh, to the frame machine. In addition to that, I need to get the seat belts and the SRS module sent off to safety restore to be rebuilt. We've got a little something special happening with the seat belts as well. So today, it's prep for framework and get all that seat belt stuff out so it can go off to be rebuilt. So, I'm going to get the car pulled out and we're going to get to work. Let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty guys, if you've been watching the time lapse, you see, uh, you've seen some of the struggles we've gone through, but we have the bumper off, we have both headlights off. Uh, the bumper was challenging because, uh, well, you gotta get this uh, wheel well, the front of the wheel well liner out to get to it. And to do that, we had to take the wheel off. That was no big deal though, uh, once we did that. It wasn't even attached on this side. That headlight came out real easy because there was only two bolts left that were still attaching it to anything. And that one just fell out. Uh, it did reveal that this uh, this cooler looks a little worse for wear, so I'll have to look at that, probably end up replacing that. Over on this side, well, I wish I'd realized what it took to get the headlight out before we started. Uh, it does have two tabs that were broken up here at the top. Those two were still holding, and unfortunately, there's still one underneath here, and uh, well, so we were able to get enough room to get it out with the jack, but it was not fun. So, with that being said though, we did get those out. Uh, we still need to get this fender off, and then both side skirts. This side skirt is damaged. We'll look at that more in a minute. And then the one on the other side just needs to come out so that we have our, so the jack has room uh, to put it on the frame rack and uh, pinch it down. Um, but we actually have to take this skirt off before we can get this fender off uh, because I think a couple of the bolts are down underneath there. Also gonna have to remove that wheel again because we're gonna have to get the remainder of that wheel well liner out. And uh, well, so it's not fun, but it is coming along. So I'm gonna put you guys back on a time lapse and you can watch us continue to fight with this thing and get the parts off. Alrighty guys, well, we have the rocker covers off, the side skirts off on both sides. Uh, that one we just needed to get off for the sake, like I said before, of, of hooking up to the frame machine. Uh, you already saw all that was off. And then we've got the fender and the rocker off on this side. Now, I could already see when we, uh, even before we took the rocker off, that this was kind of messed up a little bit right here. Uh, in the accident, it hit a curb. Uh, and you can see over here on the rocker cover where it took a pretty good chunk out of it. Um, of course, then there's our busted fender, and here's the unfortunate part. Of course, we knew there was a little bit of frame damage under there, but sadly, our apron is kind of kinked up as well. Nothing Jack can't fix, but it is always disappointing to take things apart and find more damage. So, 
We'll just add that to the things that have to be fixed. Anyway, now that the all of the exterior pieces that need to come off have been taken off, uh, Doug has already gotten to work uh, getting ready to start uh, taking the seats out. We're going to go ahead and take the seats out, uh, partly because we need to get these seat belts out and it'll probably be easier to do out of the car. Uh, but then also, we having these seats out will help us get to that center console, which the SRS module should be under there, I believe. So that's what we're going to work on now. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys back on uh, a time lapse. This one shouldn't be too hard to get out. That one might be fun because the motor that goes forward and backward, uh, probably from being exposed for so long, it's just really not moving right now. So we'll see how we conquer that problem. Anyway, we're going to get back to work. Check in with you soon. All right, guys, another quick update here. As you can see, passenger seat is out. No big deal. I mean, it's a little bit of work, but it's not too bad. It's, uh, what, I think it's about five total T50 Torx bolts. It's down to the floor, and that seat still fully works, so no problem. That seat, uh, it does not have height adjustment or fore and aft adjustment. Just the seat back and uh, the headrest, and then the tilt of the bottom work. Uh, one, of the, one or more of the motors are bad on that side. So what that means is I was able to get the two bolts in the front off, no problem, but there's still three back here that we're not quite sure how to get to. So that is our puzzle right now, and that is what we're going to continue working on. You guys probably don't want to watch that forever, so I'm going to take you off time lapse. We're going to get that figured out, and I'll pick up with you when we get that seat out. Alrighty, guys, as you can see, the seat is out over here on the driver's side. Uh, I'll tell you, she did not come out without a fight. Um, the problem was we had easy access to these front bolts and there are three in the back, but the seat wasn't wanting to move forward and back. Uh, at first I thought that maybe it had a bad motor because it got reined in, but we actually discovered that it would move just a teeny little bit both directions, uh, but then it would stop. And you could hear a click inside, like some sort of relay was kicking off or something like that. Um, and so uh, we actually sprayed some PB Blaster on the, the little spiral track, I guess, that the motor rides on. Not real sure if that did anything because it certainly didn't seem to work at first. Um, we just kept playing with it and uh, finally uh, put a little pressure on the back of the seat with my other hand while trying to run it and suddenly it started going. I've got no explanation for why it suddenly started working other than the Lord helped us, but uh, there it is, it is out. So we're gonna do a little research, figure out where that SRS module is, get that thing out. Of course, we'll need to take seat belts off the seat as well, uh, but that's what we're gonna work on next. drivers and a wheelie bug that's a cockroach oh oh no 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 how did that get in here oh no 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 <laughs> that dude came from virginia <laughs> he's been living in here a long time get him where he go up the... no he's up under here somewhere yep there he is oh <laughs> I hope I caught. I hope I caught that on camera. <laughs> what just happened? I tried to smack him. We killed a bug and got got a bath all at the same time. <laughs> How did you get so wet? This carpet's just carpet. soaked. Okay. Well, all right. Since that's off, I'm gonna take it out.
There it is, guys. All of this for that. But it's necessary evil. So I guess it's time to keep working on the seatbelts. <laughs>
Oh, no, no, no. 